Hi, my name is Roger Nichols. Welcome to NAM 2006 Summer Session. I have a company called Roger Nichols Digital. We're developing plugins that do not exist in the plugin world for Pro Tools and any VST or audio units host. We have an equalizer called the Uniqualizer, an FIR EQ called the Frequalizer, a dynamics unit called the Dynamizer, and a mastering limiter called Finis. I'll start by showing you Uniquealizer. Uniquealizer is a very high resolution but normal EQ. There is phase shift at the points where you're doing EQ, like any normal uh, Waves or McDSP or any other EQ, but they've all been optimized. You have up here you have different filters, parametric, low shelf, high shelf. Uh, low pass, high pass, notch filters, harmonic filters, they've all been optimized for their particular function. So instead of trying to do a notch by making a very narrow parametric, they don't work the way they should and start screaming a little bit. Um, if you need a notch, just use a notch filter. Uniqualizer allows unlimited number of bands. You see the bands that you've selected over here in the list, you can adjust them change the bandwidth, add fill underneath the graphics so you can see what the overall frequency response is. Doesn't mean much when you're just doing one filter, but as soon as you add another parametric and then make it be, oh, let's say minus and change the bandwidth down here, now you can see that the overall frequency response is more than just what it is with that band. You can add harmonic filters. For instance, if you have 60 cycle hum in a guitar amp, click this, you now have harmonic filters, notch them out, you get the 60 cycles plus all the harmonics. If you don't need the harmonics, you can turn them off, even, odd, or usually what happens is you hear the buzz, but you don't hear the actual hum, so you can actually turn off the fundamental and just turn on the even and odd harmonics so you're getting rid of the buzz. Another feature of this is, since we have here a stereo version, what happens when the buzz is just in the left amplifier that you're miking, not in the right amplifier? And you're actually doing something to the sound in the right one that you don't want to do. You click on these buttons right here, and it splits it into an independent left and right. I can now turn off the right side by clicking this button. Now, it's only the left that's getting EQ'd to get rid of the buzz, not the right channel. And you can do the same with any filter. You can just click it, it splits in separate left and right, and you can do different amounts of gain for one channel over the other. While you don't have to therefore take a stereo channel and copy it into two mono channels just to do one particular thing to it. Um, you can keep adding bands. You could have 120 bands if you want. There's no limit. Just keep adding bands, more parametric, more parametric. Uh, how about a notch filter? How about another harmonic filter? Because there's some 50 cycle hum on the other channel. Because the right channel I did here, the left channel I did in uh, the UK. Whatever it is. So you can do anything you want. Just keep adding up bands. You can turn them off one at a time by deselecting them with this little white button. You can also do something that you can't do with any other EQ. What if I now want to fine tune this little harmonic? I can select it so it's highlighted and hit solo. It turns off all the other bands. Now I'm only listening to these harmonics to fine tune them, make sure that the other EQ that I've added isn't messing with them. Like, okay, that's fine. Turn off the solo, all the other bands turn back on. Right here it shows that I've got 19 different bands going right now and what's highlighted is the harmonic eight. You can adjust all the different filters in this area. You can, for fine tuning, you can just click on the button or you can type in, type in a value, anything you want. Um, you can grab it here in the graphic area to move it around and get it to be uh, whatever you need to do. And you can delete them permanently if you find that there's something that you're not using. You can go in here and hit the little X and it'll completely delete it from the list. 
because you can have 150 bands if you want, automation with the host ends up being a problem. So each filter is assigned a letter. And when you go to the automation page, I'll drag it up here. When you go to the automation page, you'll see letters assigned for each filter, and then you can decide what you want to add or remove to the automation. Um, because fil the, the number of things you can automate is limited by the host, you can just assign a letter to the one that you need so you can automate all of them, uh, you know, whichever ones you need. Another feature that isn't found in other equalizers, when you recall a preset, it gets rid of what you're doing. What if you spend four or five hours getting the high end just right on that acoustic guitar? Then you decide, well, gee, I had to, I remember yesterday I had to lower the bottom end on the guitar to get it to be non-woofy, and that took me a while. What do I do? Do I have to put in another EQ and recall that preset? When you hold down Option and put it over to Load, it says Add. Because you can add as many bands as you want, when you add, it'll add the three parametrics or the low shelf or whatever you were doing yesterday and just add them to the list. And the EQ will show what you're doing today in addition to what you were doing tomorrow as overlaid on top of it. So you can build new presets without having to start from scratch. You can just take other things that you've built over time and, uh, and add them all up. So that's Uniquealizer.